Hello CBCC, welcome to another Principal's Message and I'm excited today to have two of our four school captains with us. I've got Jude and Carson here and um, maybe if you guys just want to introduce yourselves and um, what your role is. Hi, I'm Jude, I'm one of the school vice captains as well as a SWOL leader which is our sport and wellness program and I'm really passionate about engaging kids in sport and uh, keeping them well. Um, I'm Carson, I'm the second vice captain of the school. Um, I started off with captain with like my project being like a little like a girls group, like a big sister group for um, all of secondary and then that kind of ties into my leadership profile which is community. So with like community I basically just like kind of bring people together like primary school, high school, parents to do like events and things like that. So each year that I've been here, last year was my only year, <laughs> the captains had some projects some things that they've done that have been left behind and I know previous years when there's been projects that captains have done that actually leave something for the rest of the school, almost like a gift to the school. Do you guys have something lined up for this year that we're going to enjoy for the next few years or for many years to come? Yes, so um, as captains we've come to a decision that we want to install some more water coolers around the primary and around the high school um, like property. Um, yeah, just like more water bubblers. And yeah, there'll be opportunities uh, with school events coming up uh, that'll be able to help us fundraise for these bubblers. Um, we really just want to see more places for water around primary and secondary. Um, so yeah, we're going to be fundraising for these water coolers. Um, if you want to donate now, uh, you can contact the business services office and help us fund these water coolers to leave behind for school years to come. Oh, that would be so cool because that's really sustainable. Yeah. It's um, Everyone brings their drink bottle and they can just refill yeah. their bottles and that. And um, helps the environment, helps the school. Yeah. Yeah. Some of them are going to be chilled. Yeah, yeah. Well, chilled, well, cold we're hoping water. To, we're hoping to, yeah. Yeah, good. Thank you for that. We're really looking forward to that and looking forward to the community support as you guys do that um, project. So how are you guys going with Year 12? It's yeah. Exams and assignments have been pretty tough but I think we've been able to manage it pretty well. Yeah, I think because like, it's pretty much the same or so similar assignments to last year, it's kind of been a bit easier to like get our head around what the task is. But yeah pressure which makes it a little bit stressful. Yeah, yeah, because I had fun with you guys um, when we had the camp at Emu Gully, but I remember some of the year 12s going, oh, so many assignments yeah. and we got school camp <laughs> yeah. and year yeah. 12 is one of those years where you just have lots of social stuff, lots of school responsibilities, special events because you're in year 12 and then you guys fill in the role of captains and um, so know that you're in our prayers as you go through the chaos and the joys and the hardships of year 12 yeah. but um, it's fun to do it with you guys and to see you guys doing that so pretty excited about this year 12 group and what you guys are doing for the school do you want to just um, tell us a little bit more about what you love about CBCC and um, maybe your history here how long have you been here what brought you here and um, yeah, what do you like about being here? Yeah, well, I've been here since prep, so I've been in this, this school has been basically part of my whole life. Um, it's just a really tight knit school where the teachers and the students are able to like, freely be with each other and be comfortable around each other. And whenever the someone's someone's new, uh, it's just such a welcoming school. Everyone's just so close and comfortable with each other. Um, and yeah, it's really warming to see that everyone's like really comfortable with each other. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so I came to school grade seven and grade eight, and then grade nine I actually moved to schools to Maroochy North. But then I came back in grade ten because I just felt that like this school was gonna definitely help me more in the future because the teachers are just so caring and they're just so helpful. So yeah, I came back to here go 10 and I don't regret that decision at all. It's, mm. it's a nice environment here. 
Yeah, that's awesome. I like being here too, so <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Um, tell us a little bit more about um, what you're doing as captains and um, some of the things that fill your week that are sort of your responsibilities. I know you guys do stuff at assemblies, you guys have got projects that you're doing. Um, tell us a little bit about what is it like to um, be a captain at the school and um, like a breakfast thing that you were telling me about, those, those sort of things. What's it like being captain at CBCC? Um, so yeah, we run assemblies every Monday morning, which just involves us greeting the school and reading announcements and praying for the school for the week. Um, and then we also get to do special things like the captain's breakfast that we actually had yesterday, um, which is, it involves some leadership coaches coming in and te teaching us how to be better leaders. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're like, there's, I think they're psychologists, mm -hmm. so they have like a really good insight on like how to be leaders and like how to make people feel comfortable. Like for our breakfast yesterday, I think it was more focused on like your potential and like kind of stepping out of your comfort zone. Um, the one we had last term, it was very based around like leadership, like how to be a good leader, how to problem solve. So it's quite like interesting. And I feel like it's a good way to just like get like the team together and just like have a chat. Yeah. There's, there's a lot of benefits to being captain because you, yeah. they teach us so many things and you, like, you learn so many lessons on how to be a better leader and how you can more comfortably communicate with other people and just other people's skills, it's very beneficial. And you manage to get out of class, you don't have to be in regular classes. <laughs> Sometimes, yes. <laughs> it's probably a downside for getting all your work done. <laughs> Too many assignments going on. Yeah. Um, so what do you think has been or will be your highlight um, this year? What do you look, are you, is there something you're really looking forward to or something that you've gone Wow, that was awesome and it's going to be hard to top that this year. Mine's definitely going to be formal. Yeah. I can say that I'm so excited for formal. Um, I think camp, that was also fun. But I think formal is just going to like be the top, top tier for me. I feel like when we do celebration night as well, I feel like that's going to be like my night. That would be a bit emotional. Yeah, some but, um, tissues. Yeah, get some tissues ready. But I think... Formal is going to be like the highlight because I'm so excited for it. Yeah, camp was really fun for me because grade 12, it's so important to like keep the bonds you have with your classmates because it's really hard to do that outside of school. So camp was just like that big chance for us to all connect that even deeper uh, onto a deeper level. And um, yeah, celebration night would definitely be another highlight. Just Getting that finally the graduation feeling, you're all done with school and get to live life. Yeah. Yeah, I can't believe how many push ups we have to do at camp. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think my arms are still sore. <laughs> um, yeah, the problem with the, the formal um, is fantastic because everything is done. Exams are done. It's like the, the last chance to celebrate with your friends as a year 12 class and step into adulthood. Um, and celebration is before the exams and then the big yeah. academic push right in the middle between celebration and um, formal. But yeah, it's really a joy and a pleasure to be with you guys here now and this year. And I'm just excited for you guys who represent the leadership of the school. And we'll talk to other captains and the primary school captains in the future. But um, I'm really looking forward to um, seeing you guys thrive and flourish as you have your year 12 year. And as we celebrate 20 years, it's kind of a special year to be graduating from CBCC as um, the school starts stepping into adulthood and becoming 20 years old. So thank you for spending some time with us today and chatting to the whole school community. And um, thank you for your prayers. Keep an eye on Michael for any updates and we'll chat again next week. Thank you.